and fusion. You gather 18 fighters from all over the globe. We have them train together. We have them live together. We have them eat together. We have them fight together. But only one gets to win it. So it's now or never. This is the battle of a warrior. Let it be known. And my advice is either go hard or go home. You better step up to the challenge or you'll get dismissed. And you don't get a second chance. Oh, we, this is it. Ho Samui is where we train the best. Welcome to Thailand. Let's see if you can pass the test. Which one of these fighters is a champion? Who's gonna rise up and show them that it can be done? $40,000. Now, who wants it most? Let's see if you can do more than brag and boast. Kickboxing meets discipline. Step inside the ring. Let's go free. Finish him. Welcome to Infusion Reality number four, where 16 of the best heavyweight fighters from all over the world compete until there is one left. They will be coached by five beautiful team captains who will also fight each other in this tournament. Fighters will sleep, eat, live, and train together in Resort Super Pro Samui. A necessity to visit for all people in combat sports. Super Pro Samui is located on the beautiful island of Koh Samui. The island has something for everybody. Sun, sea, rest, culture, and above all, good parties. The co-host of the show is 14 times world champion, Julie Kitchen. Infusion is the brainchild of the host, Edwin Van Os, coach manager and former trainer of many world-class Thai boxers. Last time on Infusion, the fight between Sam and Iggy. Iggy asks for the help of his late trainer and sister. Big Daniel Sam gets a lot of attention. Anytime, Hollywood! Iggy's gonna have to knock. Daniel out, and I think he'll do that in the first round. A very brave Iggy. It's about to go down, 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 down. Fusion. After three rounds of engaging action here in Chowang Stadium, your judges have reached a unanimous decision. Your winner, fighting out of the red corner. Hey, big man, you did not get your KO this evening. No, I didn't. I got the win, though, so that's the most important thing. The KO would have been the icing on the cake, but we still got a win, so I'm happy with that. Uh, did you think you underestimated him? Not at all, not at all. I know he's a strong guy. I've seen some of his training. From his body physique, he's very strong. He could take a lot of punishment, which he did. So I knew he's gonna he's gonna push through for the for the three rounds. He had a lot of support out there as well. So I knew he was never gonna quit and just give in. And what were you thinking when those ne the knees were connected to his head and he was still standing? Yeah, well, he's, you know, he's sure he's got a big, strong head, strong neck. So he was taking them. I was quite surprised at the end when he continued to take the knees. I thought at one point the ropes were holding him up, but still a good win for me, so I'm happy. And will you be going through to the next round, taking any injuries with you? Hopefully not so far. I don't feel any knocks or bruises, so I'll be good for the for the finals. I think this was still, still as was uh, he surprised me he was uh, he was doing good but uh, the thing is he was uh, he made uh, Daniel Sam tired he tired him up but then he let him rest again so if you keep pressing if you keep pressing he will uh, uh, keep Daniel Sam uh, tired that's the Dutch style that's why the Dutch are the best in the world every time I fight a Dutch guy they don't stop coming <laughs> that's the thing if, if, if you breathe breathe this uh, oxygen is power you're not allowed to breathe so I have to keep pressure you no, no breathe for you. When you heard it, when you fight Wendell Roach, you're not allowed to breathe. That's why he's the man. You know, that's what I am. I knew I wasn't going to be KO'd. I don't give up. 
that's what I'm here for it's on the show I've got to say I looked out first round I seen you put, pulling some faces pulling them towards you third round I looked out and you was eating knees to the face is your face feeling okay yeah I feel fine I'm here to try and inspire people you don't give up no matter how tough things get you can keep going and uh, I've got to ask you must have felt the power in there of him I mean, yeah, the guy's got powerful kicks. He's a big weapon, you know? Yeah. He was looking for the knees to the head. I seen your hands coming down, protecting your body, but I really thought you was going to take a huge knee to the face. I mean, looking at you, you, you know, you're not too cut up and looking too well, bruised. I can't go um, getting this head bashed up more than it already has been. <laughs> well, you've definitely gone in with a good opponent tonight. You didn't get the win, but how are you feeling? I feel great. I gave it my all. That's all I can do. And you're happy with your performance? There's always things that I can work on. That's the beauty of it. And the beauty of fighting, you know, opponents with more expertise. Um, that you grow as a fighter, so... Uh, like and do you think uh, you could beat him in the future if you had the opportunity? I wouldn't be in the sport if I didn't think I could beat anybody. Yeah. If they have to bring anyone back due to injury, I hope they bring you back, man. I've never seen toughness like that, man. Never ever seen anything like that. Amazing, brother. Appreciate it. Amazing. Thanks, man. Yeah, well done. Amazing. Heart. Lots of heart, man. Lots of heart. Thanks, brother. Top, brother. Top. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. 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 Hitting each other as hard as you can, looking for that knockout, and now you're just chilling, sitting next to each other. He's, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't be. I've got nothing but complete and utter respect for you know Daniel. You know, always, you know, even in the lead up to the fight, um, you know. But you know, but afterwards we can actually you know, verbalise that and communicate that to each other. But you know, he's my brother and. Um, yeah, it's always good to sit and, and trade war stories. <laughs> yeah, even though you're not in the same team, are you going to be behind Dan uh, in the next section of the tournament? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I support anyone that gets in the ring, you know. Um, anyone, it, take, it takes a lot of heart to get in the ring, you know. And, um, yeah, I know that... I know, <laughs> I know the um, power that this monster's got, so, yeah. Yeah, I say it's, um, you know, it's a sport. We've been out here for a couple of days with each other, you know, do our training together, moving around together. So, you know, we're in there to fight, but afterwards, before and afterwards, you know, we're, we're, we're human beings, you know, we talk, communicate, share, you know, share jokes, share stories about what happened in the ring, what should have done, you know, what, what, what you thought was funny, you know, and then we just move on from it. There's no hard feelings, you know, it's a sport at the end of the day. Well, it's a cool sight to see you both sat here next to each other, just chilling and um, talking about the fight. That's the beauty of Muay Thai, you know, that... You know, I hope that you know it comes across in in um, in the in the TV show and you know all the time. Yeah. You know that that's what real men are. You know, not not ego or anything. You know, treat each other with respect. Daniel Sam moves on to the quarterfinals. It's the man that goes down, 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 down. Fusion. My name is Brian Dowers and I'm from Holland. My height is 188 and my weight is 115. My fight record is 70 fights. I won about 50 fights and maybe 30 on knockout. My ouders vinden het spannend als ik moet vechten, vooral mijn moeder. Vroeger was ze erg bang om te kijken. Ze had ze meestal achter de sjaal verscholen en nu de laatste tijd is ze wat vertrouwelijker ermee. En begint ze het leuk te vinden ook om te komen kijken. Of tenminste, de laatste tijd, de afgelopen jaren, vindt ze het al leuk om te komen kijken. En, Ze uh, zijn erg achter me, mijn ouders en mijn jongere broertje ook. Die komt vaak, uh, vaak kijken en die gaat wel eens mee naar het buitenland ook nog. Ze uh, zijn allemaal erg enthousiast. Mijn naam is Thomas Nowak. Ik ben uit Polen. Mijn hoog is 193 en de weight is rond 130. Ik leef in Chorzów. Het is near Katowice. Het is in het zuiden van Polen. Ze yes. heet Silesia. It's, we have a little bit different dialogue than another Polish people. It's mixed German and Polish. Uh, yeah. 
I live in Poland, I born there. My father died when I was five. Then I go to school, I go to another school, I finish schools, then I move out from Poland because there is no job that time. It's very the the timing when I finish school there was very difficult because I go for like mind, electricians and stuff like this and that just become after the school and they said we have no job for you. So I have to move, I moved to Canada that time. And then I live there, I start boxing there. From Canada I moved to Thailand for a few years, and then I become world champion. And but I have to come back to Poland because my mom was sick and I have to take care of her, but no time. I live now on my own. I had just a baby of three months old with my friend. And that was a whole change, of course. It was all even wrong. And it went on itself well. It was a short night and with the train it was very difficult. My friend sat there behind me. He was it is not easy when I have to train or as I am now when I am away from the outside. He has no need for it. In 2010, I fight with Jerome Labanerias. My mom told me she is sick, but she said she doesn't want me to come to Poland. Yes, I was in Thailand. I was training, and then my sister also she has some things to do in Canada, so she said I cannot come the time. So we decided to come next month. After my fight and after what she finished, yes. So I fight. I lost the fight by by KO, but there's no problem. In the next few days, I come to Poland, and the same night I come, she died the same night. I can't time. <laughs> Don't have time to meet her. I am strong, just always something. <laughs> so I hope so if another year I become again champion. Thompson out of Atlanta, Georgia, United States of America. I am six foot two inches tall and 100 kilos. My pro MMA record is six wins, two losses, one draw. Uh, my pro Muay Thai record is three wins, one loss. Little Warren was a very overweight kid. <laughs> um, I liked video games. I didn't like much physical stuff till maybe I got, I was a late bloomer, you might say, maybe late in high school, then I got athletic. Um, I played sports as a kid. Uh, basically, you know, my parents were proud of me regardless if I rode the bench or not. But, um, it, you know, I got m much more athletic after high school. Uh, we was doing some light work, and uh, he like threw a, a light knee. When I, I kind of leaned into it, just caught on the beat. So. Yeah, <laughs> it was accident. <laughs> All in fun. Thank you. All right. So basically, you take the towel and you want to take both your thumbs. Pull down, push. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. Yep. Yeah, something. I was, uh, just so you know, the first time I've ever set somebody's nose. I didn't want to tell you that before <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you might be like, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 All in fun. Yeah, man. I have no kids yet. Um, we are planning to, hopefully in the next couple of years, I don't, you know, I, I'm scared of kids. I want kids, but I'm scared of kids. Um, I've always been nervous around kids, um, but my dogs are my babies, you know, like right now, like big animal lover. Um, I treat them like kids, they sleep. All three of them sleep in the bed with me at night. Like a 130 pound dog, a 50 pound dog, and a 10 pound dog, all three, yeah. So I have to have a really big bed. Yeah. You're lucky not nothing top here. Yeah. Just like side. Yeah. Side. I mean, it's still okay. Yeah, it's still okay. I better you had to put back. But next time it breaks, shove pin. Just you just know the pin. Put the pin and then tap. I'm not one of these fighters that hey, I'm a gang banging thug that drugs ruin my life and I need to fight people. Not that guy. Um, you know, I, I do it because I'm competitive. I like to do it. It's something I enjoy. I enjoy the adrenaline rush, um, and I enjoy being to, being able to make my father proud of me now. Where I know he, you know, he was a proud dad because he loved me then. You know, but I'm sure everybody can relate to that. Like, because everybody's not an athlete, and it, you know, and I'm proud that now I can give him something to. Hey, that's my son. You know, um, feels good. I just really appreciate you guys bringing me out and hopefully I get an opportunity to fight. I know I'm in shape and uh, uh, I just kind of want to show what uh, what I can do. I know these guys are a lot bigger than I am, but uh, you know, I can get in there and, and, and you know, I think call some waves in this tournament if I make it, you know, make an appearance. So thank you guys for bringing me here. Yes, it's an emotional time. Uh, I'm losing 50, $50 to my wife for this because I couldn't make it a year without shaving. But I was trying to compete with the Duck Dynasty and grow it really long, but it's too damn hot here. <laughs> Not happening. So we're going to have a, the Hungarian here is going to shave me. <laughs> Too much talk. <laughs> Too much talk, none of action. And don't butcher me, man. Uh, she's gonna laugh and then she's gonna say, Where's my money? <laughs> Take me to dinner, is what she's gonna say. <laughs> no, it's more at, more at. In my country. <laughs> That's normal in my country. In my country. <laughs> you did. <dick. laughs> <laughs> you just shaved my sideburn off. You fuck. <laughs> I just heard it. <laughs> what is it like this long? This? I'm gonna have to shave my entire head, you fucker. Yeah, he did, didn't he? That's normal in my country. We are ready. You got all the hair on me, bro. Now, now my sideburns are butcher. I'm gonna have to fix this up, man. This guy shaved my head. Oh my god, you cut it all the way off! <laughs> what? <laughs> What am I gonna do with that? What is your problem? I have, like, seriously. <laughs> I guess I'm shaving my head too today. <laughs> this is not good. Oh. Look, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't let him do that. <laughs> In my country, that's okay. <laughs> that's enough. We're gonna like shave your body with these dudes. Well, it's okay. <laughs> it's not cool. Why? In my country, yeah. that's not cool. I think it's cool. <laughs> no, that's what I get. It's okay. It's better. It's okay. You're not my wife. <laughs> How white my head is. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go to the game. My head looks like a baby's ass. First, your friend Todd breaks my nose this morning. This, then you cut my sideburn. The white team has something out for the American. It's not your day. It's not, your day. It's not my day. It's about to go down, 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 down. Confusion.
For this difficult challenge, I selected Thomas and Brian. Okay, Thomas, you can choose. You want to start or you want Brian to start? I'm always gentleman. Your challenge today, guys, are flipping the tire uphill, and it's the quickest one to flip the whole tire across the line at the end. So do you understand? Yes. It's quite an easy one, but a tough challenge, so good luck. OK, good luck, guys. Three, two, one, go! As always, there is the challenge. Decide who gets three people in the corner and the nice room. This challenge is much more difficult than Brian expected. <laughs> Still a long way to go. <laughs> Go, 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 go! I'll be Let's go! Come on! Let's go, go! Yeah. Push, push, push! Push, Let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go! Okay, 248. What do you think? Will it be enough? We will see. It was heavier than you thought. Yeah. yeah. Much more heavier than I thought. Yeah. Oh, we have to see and uh, we see what, what this uh, turn is going to be. He was too too short and he can't get his grip on the band. So uh, yeah, it was it was difficult for Brian, but I, he did his best, and that's the most important thing for me that he did his best. Three, two. One, go! Now is the turn of Brian's opponent, Thomas Novak, fighting for Poland. Team supports him. Come on, man. 
strong. It was very strong, Thomas. What? Ah, you must have a lot of power. You feel good, right? Yeah. How do you feel? I feel okay. Yeah? You're proud? Yes, my team is proud. I'm proud too. Yeah, Manal, you're proud? Yes. I can hear that. I don't hear nothing. You see? Very good, yeah, it was a uh, very good performance. Good yeah, you agree? Good time. The time was very good, 136. I'm very proud that uh, he did his maximum, he did it very explosive, powerful, uh, very good, I'm very proud. Strong too. cardio. Yes, strong cardio, really, very good. Yeah, it was tougher than I thought. Yeah, it was really heavy. Yeah. And what about your cardio? Your cardio was good? Was it a matter of strength? Was it a matter of cardio? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's, uh, you have to be handy too, to lift it up, I think. But sometimes, I don't know. I know you train him very well. He's a mm -hmm. friend of mine. What do you think he will say after this? I will hear it for a couple more years, I think. Yeah, what will he say? Time. You're allowed to go back to, to Beverwijk, to the top team? Yeah? yeah, I think so. Okay. This will, be, this will be a new exercise, I think. Okay. So it was the first time you ever did it? Flip yeah. the tire? Ah, yeah. So yeah. also technique. I think so. Denise, normally you don't lose. No. How does it feel to lose here? Uh, well, it doesn't feel good, but um, yeah, this is not the ring. So um, yeah, it doesn't matter for me. I know that uh, we're going to win in the ring and that's the most important thing here. Okay. Okay. You feel confident still? Of course, let them win the games, we win the fight. Okay, now we'll see. I'm looking forward to the fight. And I made the best man win. Thank yes. you. Oh, that's my first time also. I never did that before. And I don't know, everybody surprised I do that and also I surprised myself. <laughs> I don't understand why they do so difficult. They should be smart. From Holland. <laughs> Black team, Poland, Thomas Novak. Hundred and sixteen kilograms. Time for the open weight division weigh in. 136 kilograms. Thomas is in an extremely good mood. Hi! <laughs> Heavyweight tournament tomorrow night, we're all fighting. Oh. There's 16 guys from around the world. <laughs> It'll be nice. Yeah. Kim? Yeah, yeah, good luck. Down. Be good. Where are you guys from? Israel. Israel, nice. Awesome. Peace. Peace. Shalom. <laughs> Bye. Tomorrow night will be a 60 man tournament. Yeah? Okay. And, uh, 
Me and no, I have we'll, we'll oh, you have some cool. You are doing boxing? Yeah, <laughs> boxing, Kevin. Okay, okay, come. I know some moves, you know. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, you have been drinking. <laughs> no, this is no. no. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Come down to our Are you afraid? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye bye. are not allowed drinks by their team captains and some oh. <laughs> the party on Samui is great as always but maybe a bit too much for Thomas that was bad <laughs> Team sneaks in a beer behind their captain's back. We tried to sneak a few drinks here and there, um, but catches us every time. <laughs> Matei had snuck, snuck us a few beers, um, and we were also kind of drinking, and uh, every time she looked, pass it by, pass it aside. Which we, I think we lost a little bit of trust, and I think that's why we paid in training for it. Uh, but it was, it, was, it was good fun. All good out. We only had a little bit. <laughs> Manal has had enough of it and tries to convince Thomas to stop drinking, but he doesn't listen. <laughs> Thomas does not want to go home with the team and prefers to stay and have a couple more drinks. So Wendell gives it a try. But with the same result as Manal, Thomas does not want to go home with the team. Wendell informs the host Edward, but he doesn't care. He only advises Wendell and Manal to get Warren, the reserve fighter, ready, because Thomas is not able to fight the next day. Wendell goes to Warren, and he seems keen on this great opportunity. I want you to go home now. I want you to be sure if he's not there, you will be there. And you appreciate the you go home. 
Face changes now. You know what I'm saying? And believe me, the opponent is not the most easiest. One of the harder guys, I know. Not the easiest one. I need you that strong. Do my best. Um, just got noticed. <laughs> I didn't know if it was a, what was going on, if it was kind of a joke or not. So, meanwhile, I thought he was kind of joking at first, but apparently the Polish guy, he wants to stay out and drink. It is what it is. I've only had a few beers. I'm fine. Um, I'm gonna go home and rest, hydrate up. Broke nose is what it is. I'm gonna still get in there and fight. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll give we'll it a hell. It's not official now, yeah. but the, we way, don't know. the way things are going, uh, yeah. this Polish guy, uh, he don't want to listen to the group, so uh, I don't think he want to join the group. He should go home to rest, and he don't want to listen. So I think and from, that, what, I, you know, yeah. from what I heard fighting, from them and him, they're gonna kind of decide in the morning, and so I need to, you know, I'm gonna take precautionary by talking to Edwin, talking to them. You know, now that it's serious, I'm gonna take precaution and, and go home and rest and uh, get hydrated. Um, you know, obviously if I have a fight, I'm not gonna be out drinking the night before. I thought I wasn't fighting. I had a few beers, three, I can stop it. I'll be fine. I'm in good shape. Um, but uh, they're gonna decide in the morning what's going on. Edwin will take this decision to take him out or in. But uh, for us as a team, he let us down. And I thought it was a kind of a, I thought it was kind of a joke at first. You know, I was telling when I was like, Nah, man, I'm I'm gonna stay out and hang out with Edwin and them. But uh, if it's serious, you know, I'm, game face is on. You know, I'm a fighter. I'll fight. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. You know, um, you know, if if it's fight night, I, I, sh I should have had my butt in bed two hours ago. So, you know, can't make that up now. You know, uh, but uh, uh, I'll go home, get hydrated, and uh, we'll do what it does. Thomas doesn't agree and decides to stay a bit longer. getting a bit out of hand. <laughs> Thomas is feeling really tipsy and chases the girls now. Only his roommate Matei is left. I love you so much. I Very wish, sure. I wish. Listen. I wish you will win this no, tournament. No, no, it's not about that, man. I wish to meet you again. We will. I, I, I'm really, me, I really to see you two again. I really want to. I'm sure we will. I don't know how, but I really meet you. I know how. You I know, know how. how. Yes, okay, I man. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, here is, here is your you money. You should laugh. Uh, okay. Money. Money. And should be the key over here. That's cool. I will wait in our room. In my room, yes. Hi. See you later, See alligator. You. <laughs> we all good and we are ready. Tomorrow we fight and don't be fucking ready. I hope. Some last brave Polish words. Mam nadzieję, że wszyscy moi fani i moi faworyci pójdą moim śladem i zawsze będą walczyć tak jak ja. 
Zrozumieliście? Polska górą. I see him having a vodka and uh, uh, beers like like he never have drinks before, you know. Like you know when your first time in a, in a pub and you want just to try everything. Like even he was asking, he wasn't having. I'm very sorry to say this. He wasn't having his pocket money. He was asking for everybody to have one beer, one beer, one beer. Yeah. The next morning, good news is that Thomas is in his room. <laughs> What do you mean what happened yesterday? <laughs> he went to church. He went to church. He told me. He told me before. I don't know, you see after if I have still headache I cannot fight but if I have fever but it looks like it's okay. If it's no fever then it's okay. No. If I have fever I cannot fight, of course it's impossible. But it looks okay now. Of course, Polish drink. Everybody drink. Come on, Canadian drink, Polish drink, Hungarian drink. Hungarian drink. <laughs> Come on, it's. But that's normal. I don't drink last night. This was alcohol free. Yeah, that's normal. That's nothing to do with the alcohol. Because it was alcohol free. Because because alcohol is bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's now you should, should not drinking before fighting. You are right. You are right, my friend. It's about to go down, down, down. down. It's not about the time, it's about the fever. Look, I eat so much garbage, so I can feel better, it doesn't help. And I have to buy myself anyway. Yeah, but as a sportsman, you eat garbage, it's, it's strange. What do you mean? Because you said that you eat garbage, like you eat things. Then I talk about this garbage, this is garbage, it should be not be like this. This is caused by what? To have this is caused by what? What? To, to have this medicine is the cause of what? Like why you are I buy this last yesterday, not today. To feel better, you understand or no? Oh, from yesterday? Yes, I ate this from yesterday, it doesn't help. So how I cannot fight today because it's still, I have still fever, so what Nobody I can Nobody of us know about it, we are a team. Like if you say, maybe we can help with the team. But when you sick, you sick, you can do nothing. But, but uh, Thomas. You have, to be, you have to be a little bit true with yourself. It's not about the fever. Yesterday you were feeling good. The thing is about the thing that happened last night. No, this no, it, it doesn't happen last night. If I believe Thomas. <laughs> if, I, uh, if I only have to think about it, uh, I start laughing because uh, I, uh, I don't know. I have the mentality if, if, I, if I have one leg or one arm, I still want to fight, you know? <laughs> You are having like like a normal person, not like a champion, like a guy who wants just to have fun. He wanted to have a beer, a dance, it's like somebody who wants to have fun. If I am you and I'm sick, I will be back. I will not go. Like Mo, he didn't go. He stay in his room one. He don't want to go because he's tired. But if you want to go and have a shot of vodka and have but, a beer, yeah, but that's the thing. Dance, if you have shot of vodka, maybe next day you feel affect, better. But it, it, it is. About Thomas, I don't believe any of the reasons he give. I don't believe he is sick, because uh, as a sportswoman, I'm telling you, if I have any kind of fever, of injury or whatever, I will rest myself for two days. Thomas, yeah. the reason is not because of the fever, you are not fighting first. Yesterday you disobeyed like the four or five of us, like we were asking you as a team, like please let's all go home, because we must have a rest. For you it was a no. If somebody is having a fever and having a medicine, he will go before all of us home. But, uh, if it, if to, it is to, the case. To, to, keep this, uh, to keep this short, uh, to, to keep the, the good vibration in the team, you cannot keep talking uh, about... Uh, because about, I'm uh, sorry that he's going out, that's yes, why I'm talking. Yes, but we have to uh, face the fact and we have to move on now. Yeah, so exactly. we, will, we will like to welcome our American... Yes, uh, I would like to. Uh, friends no. in the team, man. Uh, so, uh, we have uh, uh, just to keep uh, to keep the positive uh, vibration into the into the team. So uh, this this happened, and we have to move on. Finish. So yeah, exactly. I don't believe that he say that he don't want that he's sick because yesterday I saw him dancing. And I think. Um, if someone is sick, you don't ask like that. So I think that he's scared. It's a broken nose, you know. Um, it's uh, is what it is. It was a training accident. Shouldn't have been doing what I was doing. Probably the guy I was training with was a little careless. Is what it is. Um, it's not going to stop me from, you know, getting in there and fighting tonight.
Close. Enough said. This is the <laughs> Doesn't matter, just put it on. Yeah, that's it. Cool, thank you. Come to the team, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Get on with it. If I'm going to have uh, five shots at one of the trips that uh, the manager took us and, and, and at night at our... Uh, it was a celebration just to promote the show. Nobody have to drink. We are all having uh, banana juice. What's wrong with that? He was having vodka, beer, whatever. And plus, he wanted to stay to dance. If I'm sick, I will not move from my bed. I have a lot of respect, but I think that he has no chance against Brian because uh, Brian is very hungry and his eyes are looking so hungry for to fight. So uh, I think it's not a, a good decision for this one. But yeah, I have a lot of respect that he does it. How are you feeling, Brian? Good. Ready to fight. And um, do you think you've got a good chance of winning this competition? I think so, yeah. I've heard your name quite a few times. You're one of the favorites. Uh, would you agree with that? I think so too, yeah. We will see. A fight is a fight, so everything can happen. And Warren, have you got enough in you to win this tournament? I think I do. I'm confident. If you're not confident in yourself, nobody's confident in you. I'm confident. Believe, baby. USA. I believe that Warren, he will not leave any single drop of energy he has for later. He will put everything. With a broken nose, with whatever, whatever, he will go for it. God wants him to be here, like he was uh, last time, last uh, moment mo noticed that he's going to be here. He arrived, yesterday they tell him that he's going to fight today. So he, he is supposed to be on the ring. So I hope that uh, he, he can do what he wants. And you've welcomed him into your team with open arms? Yeah, because, uh, because since the moment that he arrived into Super Pro, he was showing that he is here for sports. He want, he's a sportsman and he wants something out of it. So this is why I directly welcome him, because I'm proud to have such a person. Uh, we learn from them, you know, to see the spirit. Thomas, how, how are you feeling with your fever now? I feel a little bit better. Yeah? Um, you're sight ring side, you've obviously got a few beers there. Not mine, that's uh, my lovely lady. Oh, okay. Thank you. But you, you're feeling a bit better now? Yeah, just, just. Are you disappointed you're not in the ring tonight? Very. I want to fight, but it happens, happens sometimes in life, you know? And now, please welcome to the red corner from the USA, Warren! A very tough fight with a lot of action between Brian and Warren. An exciting challenge between Todd and Pane. Miriam injures her hand. And something completely unexpected from Pane. And Pane declares war on his opponent. Infusion. We gather 18 fighters from all over the globe. We have them train together, we have them live together, we have them eat together, we have them fight together. But only one gets to win it, so it's now or never. This is the battle of a warrior, let it be known. And my advice is, either go hard or go home. You better step up to the challenge or you'll get dismissed. And you don't get a second chance, homie, this is it. Ho Samui is where we train the best. Welcome to Thailand, let's see if you can pass the test. Which one of these fighters is a champion? Who's gonna rise up and show them that it can be done? $40,000, now who wants it most? Let's see if you can do more than brag and boast. Kickboxing meets discipline. Step inside the ring, let's go finish him. Confusion. 